Hey folks, Crystal here. I'm doing a screen recording to let you see how to attach a Podbean podcast during publishing to automatically feed over to a YouTube channel. So I'm already at that point where I'm ready to publish a new episode. I'm going to click on that and bring in my file. Choose file to upload. I already have the window open on my finder, so I'm just going to drag it in here. It should propagate. Episode number 48. It's an MP3 file. And, you, and what I want to show you is, obviously, I have to go through a few things to bring this episode in here. Um, so let me do that really quickly. Here's the information. I'm going to do some other stuff to this particular thing. I have added a title match the title here. I'm going to add a description a little bit differently than this, but I'm going to just leave that for now. I'm going to add the logo file. Over here on the right is where the tags would come into play. So given uh, the episode, you can add tags specific to this episode, or you can actually click on those that are generic enough to use on every episode. So some of the stuff that I've already been doing, I'm just going to go click this. My client Ben Halpern, he runs a business success online training program, um, and these are you know some of the things that his messages are about. LiveYourDeserveLife.com is his online portal, and let me just click a couple other things. He is a psychologist who uh, helps people overcome anxiety, fear, and stress. And Practical Psychology for Business is the name of his podcast. He is a speaker. And Transform and Perform and Work-Life Balance. Okay, over here, underneath the Share menu, is where you access the online ability that when this gets published, down here at the bottom, it will also go here. So you can see that the YouTube button is highlighted, the Facebook button is highlighted, Twitter is highlighted, this is Tumblr, and this is WordPress. So you could make your blog, uh, sorry, you could make your podcast auto-feed to your blog. In this case, we're going to allow it to continue to auto-feed to YouTube. Super easy to set that up before you publish, and you can also come in and set it up after you publish. So this is actually going to be scheduled for tomorrow. So I'm going to come in here. I don't want this published today, so I have to remember to do this. This is a live episode that I'm doing. Once I do that, I can just say save, schedule the post. And now that is scheduled. And you're going to notice there's a share and embed button over here. And that is also where you can go in after something is set up. Click on that. And again, here's what's available. This is where your LinkedIn comes into handy. Um, pretty sure this is not something that can be scheduled, though. This, I have not tried it here during a scheduled one, but I'm guessing that if I did this, it would actually feed it over to LinkedIn now. Um, to enable auto share on Facebook and Twitter, when a new episode is published, you click here, and that's the same place for YouTube. Um, uh, to think about what I want. See, right here is your connect to YouTube. Remember that LinkedIn uh, is very specific about what they'll allow you to do and not do, and most of the time you can't do anything on an automated basis there. So usually what I do on LinkedIn is I wait for the episode to actually post to Facebook and Twitter, and then I come in here and I'll feed it over to LinkedIn. Here's where the Connect YouTube is. You can see that it's connected, although it says it's not. So I guess we'll connect the YouTube and I'll show you how to do that. Sign into the YouTube account that you want. It's doing its thing. It says, yep, I see you. And I'm going to say allow. Sometimes you have to come in here and redo that. Now it's going to ask you what category you want it to be. Um, I forget what we are. I think we're education, so we're going to put it in the education category. And that says 
now that is I did the wrong one so I'm going to undo that but anyway that's how you do it if you need help further with doing your podcast I'm a Mac user and so what I do is I take GarageBand I export it as a share to iTunes from over to iTunes I do what I'm going to do in iTunes and then I'm actually use this menu to show the final iTunes episode which is the mp3 version in the finder and that's how I got it in to Podbean from there when I went at the beginning of this video okay so if you need some more help reach out to me uh, and I'll see what I can do to help you